Okay, guys, back on the 318 Mission Impossible. Tried to reclaim a few of the CFM I lost putting the multi-angle valve jobs on. So all I did is I hit both of these seats with a, a 60 under the valves seat. I could have done something fancy, but that's basically what it was beforehand. I'm just trying to get back a couple of those CFM we lost. It does look like I sprayed a touch less dicum than usual because our... Our pattern is quite a bit narrower, and uh, I don't really think it should be. Uh, our chamber looks really quite good, right? We got a nice powdering all the way around. Our valve looks quite good. It seems like the texture keeps the liquid off the valve quite a bit. Okay, let's take a look at the bore. Okay, it's still quite good, but it's still, it looks like I sprayed a little bit less than I did last time. It goes. Come on, you can do it. There we go. It goes pretty much all the way around. And all the way around this side. Okay, now the question is, did I gain any CFM by putting that deeper cut back in that valve? seat okay from this angle it looks pretty good like i say it's a little bit narrower than it was and it doesn't have as dark a line towards the center there near our uh, our floor fin but it uh, overall i think we uh we got a good handle on this remember if they if they if dv and andy wind up doing a siphon style carburetor the atomization is not going to be great. And uh, how we handle the liquid in these heads is going to make a huge difference. Okay, so that's one of the reasons I'm putting a little extra effort into it. And uh, hopefully it pays off. Okay, guys, always interesting. I have a couple erasures here on our pluses and minuses because... I grabbed the wrong flow sheet. This is number four final to the number five final. I originally did it on the number three final. Okay. Number three had a different style of valve. This is a textured valve. This is the textured valve. The only thing different on this one, back to a three angle valve job. Okay. Out with the five angle and with the three angle. How do we do? Well, this is what we had. This is what we have. Minus, plus, plus, minus. Plus, 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 minus, plus, minus. I'm going to say overall it's a winner. Put a flow ball on it, it goes to 231. It was already 231.4. So we're good there. This one actually gained a little bit. It went to 232. What happened with our swirl? Equals, minus, equals, plus, Minus equals minus 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 plus. We don't get a we don't get any decent pluses until we hit six hundred lift. Now I guess we could we could work on that if we thought it would make a difference, but in honesty, I don't think it will. I think it's fine where it is because we're going to be running a good size cam in it, and uh, twenty nine is a bit too high. And these progress pretty good after 0.35, so I'm going to say we're good that way. I think I have maybe one more little trick I'm going to try on this intake port, and I'm going to call it a day. And uh, let's take a look at the exhaust. The exhaust is the same deal. I put uh, I <laughs> my blended radius that usually works great, just put a, more of a 60 on it and sent it. Let's see how we did. Okay, guys, sorry, I almost forgot our air speeds for the intake port. This is what we had on the 4th. This is what we have on the 5th. Relatively even top to bottom. Pretty good, right? This was pretty good, too. I mean, really, it hasn't changed much. And this does flow a tiny bit more. At 600. I should mark that as 600. And center of our cylinder... 
plus and a minus, still pretty good. This was actually a little better as far as being even. Still not bad here, not bad. You can see how just one just one valve angle changes the way the bowl operates. It's really pretty cool. Now, short side, I only changed one here. Only went down a couple here, and this stayed exactly the same, 336. So our speeds from one side to the other are pretty good. If we had more metal, we could probably do, do a little bit more to it, but I do not want to make a hole in these. Not, not really interested in ruining these heads. They have so many hours in them, it's just stupid. So we're going to have to send it the way it is. Okay, not a complete win, but not bad. This is our fourth. This is our fifth. Minus, minus, plus, plus, plus with a little bit of noise. Plus, minus, 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 plus, plus. So we actually top out a little better. We top out better with a pipe. All right, 2.0, 2.0, 2.3. I, I, I think that's the best we've done to date on this head. Um, so I'm not going to sweat it, really, as far as topping out. And if we wind up spinning this as hard as we as I think we will, we need we need some decent numbers up here. You guys can give me some uh, feedback on that. And let me know. Okay, as far as our air speeds, this is our fourth. So we're comparing these air speeds to these air speeds. Plus minus plus 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 minus plus plus plus. Look how even it is to side to side. It's kind of amazing, right? It went from 281 to 306 with only a few CFM difference. That's kind of that's kind of interesting to me. As far as side to side here, right? We picked up a little bit here. We picked up a nice number in the middle. We lost a touch here. But we gained some down here. So this part of the port is more even than it was. We have more of a speed discrepancy here than we do here. Actually, you know what? I'm not correct. We have more of a speed discrepancy on this side because this goes all the way up to 306. Okay. It died a little bit in the floor of the port. I'm not really going to sweat it. And this part of the, of the port is really working well. This is the center of the cylinder side. Look how even that is from top to bottom. Overall, I'll, I'll take these air speeds over these air speeds. Even though they don't show a big difference and we have a couple of minuses on the, on the curve. Let's take a look at that. All right, we've got, these don't matter to me at all. These three, I really don't like to see those minuses, but how big a minus are they? Okay, how big a minus is they are, are they? Tiny, tiny, tiny. You know, they're not they're not big minuses. I don't like to see any minuses, but <sighs> you can't win them all, right guys? Okay, now what I think I'm gonna do for my last hurrah, and it's really kind of stretching the possibilities, is this fast side here, right? It's very thin, but I'm thinking of putting a texture on it. It's hard to see right now. Let's see if I can give you some different light on that. Okay, it does have a tiny bit of a texture to it right now. I think I went over it. It definitely is textured. I think I went over it with a sand roll, but I may, I may texture that with a stone because I've done that before and Certain instances, you get a nice pickup on, with a stone on that area. So I think I might try that. I think the exhaust is uh, pretty much done. I may, I may modify an exhaust valve uh, because these are so heavily pitted. I may uh, do a little gouging on one of them and see if that makes a difference. Other than that, guys, I think I'm going to call it quits for tonight. Thanks for hanging out. Putting up with me and the Mission Impossible, I know you guys are good. I don't know if I could watch it, to be honest. I'm too ADHD. I'd have to, I'd have to watch it at double speed. I do tend to do that. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.